Hi everyone and thanks a lot for joining us. I'm DeMarco Morgan. In battle, South Korean President Park Geun-hye was formally stripped of the presidency Friday morning local time. Park was impeached by Parliament in December and stripped of her powers pending a constitutional court ruling. Well, the court has upheld that impeachment and Park is accused of colluding with a friend who allegedly pressured big companies to give money in return for government favors. Protesters both for and against Park have gathered outside the court building where security remains high at this hour. And uh, CBS News' Adriana Diaz has been following this story and joins us now on the phone from Shanghai. Good morning to you, Adriana. Good morning, DeMarco. This is the first time a democratically elected president has been removed from office in South Korea. How significant is this court's decision? It's hugely significant. This is following weeks of protests in Seoul and throughout South Korea over this president. Hundreds of thousands took to the streets uh, demanding her impeachment, demanding her removal from office. Now, in early December, Parliament did, in fact, vote to impeach her. But the ultimate decision was really up to the Constitutional Court, which announced today that they are going to remove her from office. And this has huge implications beyond South Korea. The real question here is North Korea. It's sad. The current president, President Park, is a hardliner against North Korea, but the opposition party wants to engage with North Korea. Uh, the current president supported that. That's the anti-missile system that just started being deployed in South Korea to intercept any potential incoming missiles uh, from North Korea. That has really created uh, huge issues in the region. China opposes the installation of that because China worries uh, that that could possibly have surveillance capabilities in to Chinese territory. Um, so this is really throwing all of this into question. Uh, what is the future of that? Will the deployment continue if an opposition leader takes the reins in South Korea and essentially puts the kibosh on that and changes the direction uh, that the U.S., that South Korea, that China, that Japan will take in leading in dealing with North Korea because China wants to de-escalate the situation. They want different parties to come to the table to engage with North Korea more so. Uh, South Korea, for now, has really aligned with the U.S. and taking a harder line with North Korea, not, direct, not directly engaging with North Korea. But if the opposition party takes the reins in South Korea, that might shift the balance toward China. And we might see a different uh, approach in trying to deal with the North Korea problem. Hey, Joanna, see, take a look at these pictures uh, coming out of Seoul right now. You can see there is a large number of protesters uh, outside both for and against this court's uh, decision. Uh, does this ruling make it possible for criminal charges? It may. It may. Uh, right now, the president has been protected by her position. Um, but this now removes her from office, and she might be uh, liable and, and potentially um, vulnerable to dealing with uh, the criminal system. Right now, the trial just began for the de facto leader of Samsung, uh, who is also embroiled in this scandal, which really just keeps widening. Uh, he is one of the uh, people, and Samsung is one of the entities involved in, you know, in these corruption allegations, uh, basically, uh, you know, uh, offering money to foundations and organizations uh, controlled by President Park and controlled by uh, her close associate, uh, who's at the center of all of this. Samsung and other, co and other companies uh, gave money to these organizations, and the allegations the prosecutors say is that in exchange they received favors from the government. So uh, the special prosecutor in this case is really pushing forward uh, to, to take these leaders uh, through the criminal justice system. And Adriana, again, for our viewers who are just now joining us, embattled uh, South Korean President Park Geun Hye uh, clearly uh, was impeached by Parliament back in December, and the court has upheld uh, that impeachment. What now? What does the country do now to replace President Park? The country has 60 days to hold uh, an election to pick her successor. Uh, and, you know, as you see in the pictures, uh, here with people filling into the streets. This is this is a really impassioned issue. Uh, President Park had single-digit approval ratings, but she also has a strong core. South Koreans feel vulnerable. They are they are right 
butted up against to North Korea, uh, the closest country and, and, and a country that's really uh, hated by North Korea. Uh, North Korea feels that it is their manifest destiny to unite the Korean peninsula, uh, whether by force or by negotiation. And so South Koreans really live in a state of constant, uh, under a state of constant threat by North Korea. So President Park really had her supporters, and there are people who are extraordinarily loyal to her, uh, but there are masses who are not and who feel that she uh, is corrupt and she is leading South Korea and has led South Korea down the wrong path. Uh, so this election that's to come will surely be in passion. I know there was concern of violent protests breaking out there. Do you have any word or, or, or has it been an issue uh, so far at this point? We haven't gotten any word about violence at this point. It's still early on. Uh, the protests that took place demanding her impeachment uh, in, the, in recent months were mostly peaceful. So we'll really have to see if that continues. Okay, and there was a, a poll that was actually uh, taken there, a little survey uh, that showed that 70 to 80 percent of South Koreans uh, had wanted the court to approve Park's impeachment. That shows that she did not have a majority of support from the people there. She certainly, she certainly did not and does not. Uh, you know, if you just look at the, the number of people who, who protested against her, uh, she, she really fell from grace in South Korea. Um, but her supporters are extraordinarily loyal uh, and, and, and really back her. Uh, so while the numbers are against President Park, and we've seen that reflected even in, in the votes in court uh, that was announced today, uh, she still has a very strong base. All right, CBS News is Adriana Diaz. Thank you very much and always fine reporting. Thank you, Adriana. Thanks, DeMarco.